Hey, who's that at the door? Hey, it's, it's the paper boy. I don't know the paper. I just want to let you know that this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Who are you? The paper boy. Your, your son, the paper boy? Billy? Dad, I missed you. I'm sorry, who is that? All right, see you later, Dad. I forgot we had usually do that on Patreon. I was just well, that works. That works perfect. Hey guys, my name is O'Shea, and I work with the Ninjas or Butterflies crew here at Sunday Cool. Now, if you don't mind, I would like you to imagine something with me. Imagine you're in a meadow. It's almost sunset. The sky is full of the most beautiful colors you've ever seen. You hear what sounds like the whispers of love in the air. Love. You look around, and surrounding you are thousands of people. All these people are hugging each other, laughing, smiling, living life in its purest form. You see dudes giving high fives, children playing tug of war, families treasuring one another. Now open your eyes. I want to ask you a question. What were they wearing? You're right. They were wearing shirts. And guess who made those shirts? We did. Sunday cool. So if you want to be happy and want the war to end, order custom shirts through Sunday Cool. Sundaycool.com. Let's go ahead and end this war together. Actually, wait a second. One second thought. Hold on. <laughs> We're sitting on a gold mine. What are you doing? You guys never follow through with your weight loss things. First of all, um, I did because I lost over 20 pounds at like 25 pounds and I got first place. So I definitely won last time. How much did you put I on before it started, Andy? Did you guys measure what? it? Yeah. How much did and you put on it? before? Yeah, remember because I was like, I tried. I went to the sauna that morning because he was, I, he wouldn't tell me how much weight he lost. Oh, yeah. And you only gained weight, didn't you? I gained weight later, but I had already checked in. I had already weighed in earlier in the morning. And then I just told anything. I told you to... What are you talking about? I barely lost anything. I remember. What do you mean? Because you, the whole thing was like you like barely did the, this time. Oh, project. this time. Yeah, yeah this last time. Yeah, no. <laughs> That one was for your betterment because you wanted to start it and I really didn't want to do it, but I knew that you needed somebody. And it, it worked. Don't put it because, on me. Because I was drinking like... I was. I didn't change almost anything. And, uh, but every time I was like, I'm like, you better be careful. <laughs> and you're like, dang it. And he's doing it again. <laughs> this one will be different because your dad's, um, Steve's in on it. Like he's the one that like initiated it cause he's already doing it. So and I'm he's like, doing keto. let's make a competition out of it then. So now until Christmas. Yeah. Except he's like, and he's like, let's do a contest. And my dad's like thousand bucks. <laughs> well, I'm like, what? <laughs> Who's got that kind of money to throw on a contest like that? <laughs> Mr. He's Kondo. He's, he's confident. How's it how's it going to be judged, though? Percentage. Yeah, same rules as that one two years ago. It's not like um, like a BMI how many percentage? pounds? It's Take what you weigh and then, uh, yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't know how it works, but I know we have it written down. There's some division involved. <laughs> I think you wouldn't it, understand. I think if I got it. in shape, I would keep my weight, but it would just shift. Yeah. Like I'd probably lose 10 pounds of fat and gain five of muscle and be kind of... Like really fit if I did that. So but. what about a measuring tape? No, it's this Inches. is the best way. This is the best way. Because I mean, we took it from somebody else. Like it's, it's, it's the only way. I will do it if we do a show. A show? Like, oh, get a like the, end of the last podcast of the year, we're just coming like Speedos. What? <laughs> all tanned up. <laughs> 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 we should just do the tan. What's your song if you had to do a show? Oh, I'm doing Thunderstruck. That's that like strong. The Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> what? No. Is that, what is it? Thunderstruck. ACDC. That's yeah, the it, Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. They do that song every day, every time. Oh, I didn't know that. Every day. That's like Maybe it's just thing. in my heart. Yeah, I thought you were a Dallas Cowboys fan. Not a cheerleaders fan. So that's just that because, you know, I don't believe in that. That's not a sport. You don't believe in cheerleading? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in cheerleading. I don't think it's actually real. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen a cheerleader in real life. I've never seen it. Think about it. When's the last? It's like the same thing with like, you know, your neighbors carrying in groceries. When's the last time you ever saw a cheerleader? Yeah, you know, I do you look haven't. for that every single day now. I say hi every single time to my neighbors. Hey, I'm bringing in groceries. Like, so they know. They won't have that experience. Yeah. I've realized <laughs> they, they forget I, get, about it. I get spotted all the time, but I never see my neighbors. Yeah. 
So it's like weird. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like I, I was, know you see me taking groceries in. But, can we just all yeah. live next to each other at one point in our lives, just so we can make sure it's not that we're not in a simulation? I would love that. Because I know for a fact, I don't know if you guys bring in groceries. I know for a fact I do because I do it every week. And yeah. I, I feel like I should trust you, but honestly, I don't. How do you do it? Do you one try trip. to get all the... Nope, that's Kelsey. That's what I, I do every One trip, time. dude. I will I will grab one bag per hand, and I'll just do as many trips as possible. Dude, here's the hack. I don't that's care. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> hey, it's just enjoying life, baby. There's no rush. I ain't got to hurry. It's girls. It's like, hey, girls, come on. You want to help? Blah, blah, blah. You're just going back I'm and like, forth. It's so inefficient. <laughs> yeah. I know. No, but here's, here's the hack. Once you got one arm loaded up, you got like paper towels and toilet paper. You can stick it underneath your arm and it gives you like that additional leverage to hold more bags without lifting. See, I deal with anger. So <laughs> I think I've learned my limits where it's like, cause I have probably done that in the past and then like, I'll get like something knocked on the door and then it'll fall and I'll just like, <laughs> you know, so it's easier just to do, you do what you can control. Yeah. 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 One in each hand. You're good. One in each hand. Sure. Maybe I'll double up on two if I'm feeling crazy. Speaking of doubling up. <laughs> yeah. Magic mind me, baby. Oh, magic mind, magic mind. Me too. Me too, bar for Are you allowed to drink two in one day? That's why I, I hope so. It's I really healthy ingredients, so. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be yeah, bad. It's all natural. What is, will too much ashwagandha make you apathetic? What'd you call me? Ashwagandha. <laughs> oh, Andy. snap. That you was, know, do you know that they are fault. back there probably? <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> happened that often. It's back there. Here you go. We'll get it. See? We won't get it because... Magic mind. We got it last time. No, we <laughs> had like a stockpile of like five back there. Dude. Magic mind. Magic mind. Healthy ingredients for a healthy brain. <laughs> healthy <Creamy> pizza. Brain. <laughs> Magic mind. Healthy ingredients, healthier pizza. You know, people... Papa John's. <laughs> our, our stash is growing low because everyone's coming in here and stealing it. I, I know. know. Our boss, your brother... Yeah. Culprits. Your brother's yeah. giving Thieves. other people out there. Bad hey, boy. Hey, Magic so, Mind, if you're watching this, please send us more. Please send we us love it. a lot more because there's a giant staff here. Yeah. That didn't make sense. <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> here are people on staff here that want to drink it. There's okay. a lot of staff infection sense. here. Huh? Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Or quote us for however many we would need to give our entire company one every day for a month. Yes. So 100,000 bottles. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Mm. Magicmind.com forward slash ninjas. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, Get 20% uh, off your order. Yeah, use the code ninjas20. Or is it ninja20? Ninja20. What was the website? Magicmind.com forward slash ninja. Ninjas. Ninjas. Yep. Yeah. It. It's on the screen. It'll yeah. be on the screen. It's in the, it's in the bio. You get a discount. Thank hey, thanks, magic. magic. B -b 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 -bine. My mind feels magical now. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. Um, you want a song? <laughs> yeah. So do okay. we. So do we. So do I as well. However, alas, <clears throat> therefore. Come hither. All ye, all ye. Uh, oh, 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 I'm up here. I'm up here. Meet me in my tone. Is a ninja on butterfly. Yes, he is. And so are my friends Andy and Andrew. Yes, we are. 107. Episode 107. Ninjas are butterflies. Ninja on butterfly.
staccato part in the middle was the blipping i, I don't know what that word is <laughs> like when <laughs> when notes. staccato yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. mr staccato oh yes mr staccato no, yes you're caught here waiting for you get her like fine. Kiss oh. me at the bottom. yeah out of bees in my new come around <laughs> hey i'm making more day hey. Catch one down in a mini mini way. I fly like the bagan like train. If you catch me in the body, then I'm in the mini. If you come around, I make more day. Turn the one down, never turn the never way. You guys are so musical. What if we get flagged for that? <laughs> you know, you know how uh, every show after it stands around for enough time and they do enough shows, there's always like a musical episode where every single thing and the whole show is just everyone singing. Yeah. yeah, I think we should do a version of that <laughs> where every single thing we do throughout the whole podcast is a musical somehow. That'd be funny. That'd be great. Speaking of <laughs> retransition, <laughs> the new song. Speaking of the election coming up, just kidding. We're not <gasps> talking about the election. What? But Dang we will talk about this. So zip it. This question does have to do with something with the election. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, we're not political people. We're, of course we're not. But unfortunately, we have to get political today. And please zip it. Thank you. It's been a while, boys and girl. <laughs> <clears throat> this question today regarding what has happened this week, with what we saw the things that were said, how people felt, how they didn't feel, the lack of feelings, the plentiful of feelings, the lack of empathy, the tenacity of those who struggle. The dichotomy of it all. Everything. <laughs> the juxtaposition. Shh. Lily, please. He can say something. Hey, Lil. What a, sorry, everyone. <sighs> Today's question. Sent him by a viewer. Did I say sent him? Sent him by a viewer. Should women be allowed to debate? Oh. Whoa. My palms are sweaty. That's knees weak, arms are heavy. Oh my goodness. Um. Should women be allowed to debate? Golly, I. Should I, women be allowed? To debate. No, I hear you. I hear you. Oh. <laughs> um, Andy, what do you think? I defer uh, my the rest of my time to Lily. I think mm. uh, as a woman in this country, as a respected woman of this country, a leader, an influence, uh, influencer of sorts, mm -hmm. yep. I yep. would say uh, Lily should take this uh, from here. Lily, should women be allowed to debate? Yes. They should be. Anybody should. I just, Andy. You give them an inch, they take a mile. You give them a minute, they take a mile. That's the that's the literally oldest saying. I, it, it, you it, give it, a woman a minute, and she will take a mile. Yeah, 
And the, listen, and that makes no sense. Which most of the time women do make sense. Which of the time they do. But when Lily says stuff like this, radical, insane things like this, it makes like me believe that. that not only is she not a, a, a patriot, but not maybe patriot. she's she's not a friend of women. Not a friend of women. And of course, Lily, we're talking about women debating the rights with other women to take their rights away as women. Absolutely not. I just think it's absolutely like why in the world would you advocate? For women who are trying to debate other people about taking women's rights away. And I'm, I don't know about you, Andy, but I'm pro-women's rights. I, I always have been, and everyone knows that. Everyone that's watching has been very clear ever since the beginning. Very clear. We are supporters of women. Women. We are friends of women. All women. And Lily, on the other hand, cannot be, that same cannot be said for her. <laughs> hey, Andrew, what do you think? I think Lily's crazy, dude. <gasps> well... He said that. <laughs> but I mean, I, I guess I. That's Andy, either here nor there. That's here, here nor there. Here nor there. Not anywhere. Give them a mile, they'll take a minute. I don't like green eggs and ham. <laughs> so I, mean, if, I, I guess you guys heard it here first. Lily is okay with women losing their rights in a debate. Welcome to the show. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most you were martial arts. Fucking Jonathan! Very good. I was not expecting you to call over to me. I was like, <laughs> uh, snapping She's out of crazy? a brain fog. The old Shamalama ding dong. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> The old swipperoo. The old Shamalama ding dong. Hey, yo. You know I saw his um, new uh, his new movie recently. Ding dongs. Shamala. Shamalan's daughter. Oh yeah, trap, 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 trap. Was Kelsey it good? It. No, it's. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. It's so bad that it's good. Mm. It's, it's classic M Night Shyamalan. Classic. Very predictable. Hey, our Actually, vacation. No. Our vacation was good. It was Rasky. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I hung out with your husband yesterday. He told me all the details. Yep. You guys are back from vacation. You guys went to Utah. Where'd you close. Go? close? That was actually close. Yeah. No, we went to a like Flagler Beach area. Oh, okay. Got it. Yes. Florida. Okay. It was very nice. You know what's what? weird is that Andrew was there, but he didn't come say hi to us or anything. Hang on. Weird. No, he offered for me to go surfing with him. Oh. I hit him up. But Josh didn't say anything. Because we have we have our own special bond. <laughs> he doesn't need to loop you in, okay? Yeah. You don't, don't need, need to be looped you in. You don't need to know everything about my life. Yeah, dude. You didn't even know. She didn't even know everything about my life. We're, we're only <laughs> well, no. one flesh. Yes, not one mind. Flesh That's is on true. The, flesh is on he, the outside. God did not say one mind. <laughs> Someone say that brains are fleshy. Ew, no, they're not. Don't say that. <laughs> they're cushy and warm and fun. Who don't say that no, either? No. <laughs> oh, so how's everyone doing? Very good. I'm glad you're back. Um, Andrew was really mean to me while you were gone. He deserved everything I did. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I was a menace. <laughs> I was really mean. <laughs> oh, we did miss you. We did miss you guys. It was weird not filming, and I feel out of my rhythm now. I know. I feel out of my rhythm too. I have no my circadian rhythm is all out of whack. Case in point. Yep, that's how they say it. Point in Circa case. Circadian rhythm. Cicada rhythms. Circada sir. Cir Circle, circle, cadium. Rhythm of Dude, the have you seen cicadas pee? <laughs> Speaking of circadian oh, rhythm. No, no. Please look up cicada peeing. I'm uh, recording my reel for today that I haven't done yet. Right You're recording your reel? I can't, I can't uh, hold on. look that up without questions being okay, asked. Okay, I just finished. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Are, are you plugged in? You have the thing? I. It's not plugged in over there. Plug it in, plug it in. I hope I saved it. I don't think it'd be hard to find. Cicadas peeing. It's I'm imagining what it looks like. Is it a certain color? <gasps> is this it? <gasps> oh, that is a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not a cicada peeing. That's a UFO, I don't silly. I know how to start spelling that. C-I-C-A-D-A. -A. Cicada. Cicada peeing. <laughs> cicada peeing. You can't look up. <laughs> you know, on TikTok, they're like, do you need help? Here's a number. Oh, wait. Wait. 
Oh, I think I'm on to something. Ladies and gentlemen, he found it. I don't have the original. You got it, YouTube. You got it? Yeah. Thanks, YouTube. It is. I'm going to send it to you so you can plug it in. I don't know if it matters. Is it pretty great? I mean, it's just. It's worth it. I'll okay. just say that. I guess. Everyone's listening like it better be. I hope it's worth it. I hope it's, <laughs> I hope it's so loud. Um, is that the it, noise they make? <laughs> Um. Okay, are we clicking him? Yep. Go. Wait. Oh, that scared me. I don't know. Whoa. Ew. Why is it floating? It's twerking. <laughs> the cicada is twerking. Wait, are you sure? This- Ew. Yeah, it's in it. Ew. Ew. No, that's not even the impressive one. <laughs> Hold on. Let me skip a little bit. No, that's not even a good one. The, there's there's, the thumbnail. there's gotta be a better pee video. And this one. Josh found a video of a cicada with a healthy prostate. Oh wait, wait. wait. Maybe don't do Please audio, don't say I, that I word. Don't know if you don't you ever again. Prostate on no, no, don't, you're, don't say it again. <laughs> Once I send this, we this can is get koalas it to the all over again, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone watching, Ew, listening. Gosh, I can't see it. Son, it's so gross. Bear with us for just a second, because okay. it, it, it ha- you have to see it now. It's like yeah. a. All right, okay. you got it. Yeah, got it. All right, I'm not doing audio because I don't know if that. <laughs> oh, <gasps> that is so much pee! Oh, it looks that like a sprinkler. So much pee! <laughs> it's like a sprinkler system. That's more pee than humans pee. Oh, I know. Why does it make me ah, gag? They had umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pee. Dude, I, I know, but I don't know why it's just drinking in my it's head. Just it's just pee. <laughs> it's just pee. It's just pee. Okay, was that worth it a little bit? Okay, it now was that worth you know it. How cicadas pee? <laughs> that was crazy. They dude. say like they empty their bladder instantly, so they just go. <laughs> dude, just, how dope would that be? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Josh wants that. I would save a lot of time, dude. That would be incredible. Um, I didn't realize this, but uh, spiders, how they make their silk, it's actually liquid inside their body. So when they when it drops out at first, it's literally liquid, but the, because of the air, it literally becomes a solid. Oh, like, so, poop. like, like poop. Like poop. Is poop a liquid in your <laughs> belly and then it comes a solid on your way out or is it solid all the time? Solid, liquid, solid. That's the cycle of food. Oh. And ice. Solid, liquid, solid. I don't know. <laughs> um, You're thinking of the Trinity. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, <clears throat> speaking of poop. Yeah. This, this podcast is going to be a kind of an anxious one. <laughs> this oh, podcast boy. is brought to you by poop. Thank goodness I took... My non-anxious vitamin. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Why you say it so weird like that? <laughs> You're five HTP or whatever. Yes. <laughs> Continue. So are you relaxed then? We'll see. Okay, well, let's talk about this earthquake that could destroy all of California. <laughs> Care for it? <laughs> Only California? Uh, Just, no. It's a hard cut off. Talking about like pretty much the whole West Coast going up into Canada. Nice. Um, what is this? No. We're calling it the big one. Ooh. And it is the cascading subjection zone, mm-hmm. which people are always like the San Andreas fault is like everyone's afraid of that going off, right? Yeah. Naturally, because that would be pretty catastrophic. But they're saying the cascading subjection zone or the Cascadia zone. Um, Cascadia. Cascadia zone. <laughs> they said that it's the, here, I'll just show you this picture real quick. It's the fault line that goes from Northern California all the way up by Vancouver Island. Okay. See that? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and they said that uh, they've done testing recently of like observing the fault line and stuff. And they said it's about to, about to go off. Really? And the last time it went off was in the year 1700, January 26, 1700. And they think... From records and like landfall and all that stuff, they think that um, the earthquake was in between eight point seven and nine point two. Wolf. And they're saying that it Richter scale goes up to ten, right? It does technically. Okay. Okay. I don't Richter think Richter scale. Sorry. I said Richter. Richard scale. I we don't even start. I said Richter. Hey, why don't you pop one of your anxiety pills? <laughs> <again? laughs> um, I I don't know if it goes up to ten. I don't think there's ever been a 10. Not that I'm aware of. But if you have a scale, there's got to be a limit to it, right? Because then how would they Does base it? everything else off? Go to yeah. 100? <laughs> um, but they're saying that when it goes off, uh-huh. 
it will be a 9.0 or higher. Oh my gosh. And I guess I never really understood the difference between a 1.0 to a 10.0. Right. You know, like, mm-hmm. just like, oh, well, 9.0 obviously is bigger, right? But yep. what does that mean? I guess it's the continuation of the shaking. And so they're saying that a 6.0 only lasts for a few seconds of shaking. 7.0, 15 seconds of shaking. 8.0, two minutes of shaking. <gasps> It's a big jump. And a 9.0 is four minutes of continuous shaking. <sighs> Dude, that's just destroying a whole city. Yeah, well, here's the thing. In 1994, the L.A. earthquake that happened, Yeah. that was a 6.7 magnitude. And so the hurricane, or the hurricane, the earthquake lasted about 10 to 20 seconds of shaking, but it caused over $50 billion in damage. <gasps> and there's like 20-something people that died. Hundreds more got injured. It destroyed LA. Dude, a 9.0 is, that's thousands of deaths. Yeah. That's so scary. Well, that, that's not even the scariest part. It's, they're, so they're saying that, well, this was a weird fact too, that it's like off the coast, you know, but the seismic activity that would happen right before yeah. the initial shift, yeah, animals would be able to pick up on it 90 seconds before it happened. Cool. So they're saying all along the West Coast that in theory- before it happened, they said like all dogs would just start barking and going crazy, and then ninety seconds later, it would just be. Dude. Yeah, they said basically, the major cities along the west coast would be donezo, like obliterated, like Seattle, yeah, Portland. No. And we're talking about massive tsunamis because it's in the ocean, mm-hmm. and they said that when it happened, people along the west coast. They would have about 10 to 30 minutes to reach higher elevation before this giant wall of water just came. Oh, that's so terrifying. So everyone in the, on the West Coast. <laughs> We're so sorry. It Figure could, it out. It could be fake. Also, listen to your dogs. Yeah. yeah. Where's Dr. Dogs. Doolittle when you need him? You know who wouldn't be able to pick up on it is Frank. <laughs> Can he not hear? But like, what's going on? Yeah, something kill. Or like even no, like when there's a snack him. near him, he like won't see it. No, he only pays attention to certain things. Five minutes after the earthquake, he wakes up. He's like... I'd send something. <laughs> something happened. He does get annoying at things that he does get alert about. Like there's a school bus yesterday and they like drove in front of our house at like six in the morning. Mm-hmm. You could have thought a person with a knife was breaking in our house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Frank, shut up, bro. It's like Please. You have, it's like you have no idea. It turns out that school bus was full of people with knives. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to tell you. <laughs> Oh, God, side. Okay, so I thought that the scale was about the severity of the shake, but it's the length of the shake. Yes. The mm. si- the I, would, I think it's it kind of. I was both. just reading on it, and it's it's a complex ratio. That's technically there is no scale. Um, it's kind of infinite from because you can't. There, there an infinite infinite amount of points between two points, so there's zero. And they were like, if you put a firecracker five miles under the surface and lit it off, it would technically have a measurement, but it'd be, yeah, yeah. so that makes sense. Like, the there's such way. a big difference in jumps, yeah. like from like seven to eight, but yeah, it yeah. Like, cause they're like, wait a minute, actually we need, we need more room. Cause like the guy, I, I can't remember. There's this comedian that talked about the, um, the invention of the batteries. He says, we're going to have a lot of batteries. So let's a double a triple a. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like, they get to like. C and they're like, oh, we're good. Like D's, we're fine. It's like we had all the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's magnitude and like proximity somehow. So like as you get closer, the magnitude increases. So it I see. kind of plays on itself like that. That's yeah, that's so scary, dude. Just like that. I think. <laughs> I mean, because you you have n- there's no th- nothing that like causes earthquakes. Uh, yeah, well the the plates shifting. I mean, like, but I'm saying like nothing we can do. So like it literally is just a matter of. It could happen any minute. Yeah. They That's said the terrifying that, thing about it. They showed like the the two plates going. And so like an earthquake happens like to where it's like going under the other one, you know, uh-huh. sometimes it binds up and it shifts quick uh-huh. like that. They're saying the one plate, instead of it like getting bound up, it's literally folding over on itself. Oh no. So it's going to so crash. So it will just be like a big pow. Oh my gosh. So it's literally dude. just like building all this tension. That's called potential energy. And then when it moves, it's kinetic. Mm. Einstein. So, what? Why are the why are these tectonic plates moving? Damn, it's just the Earth, man. Global warming. <laughs> the gravity. Earth is shifting. Gravity. I think Bill Gates is pushing them. 
but pol- the polls are shifting too right now. I talked to my yeah. cousin who's he said like stuff like that will affect it. Cousin's an engineer with the Navy. Yeah, the ad, it's not the Adam and Eve theory kind of shifting. It's just like a he said it'll take a very long time. It's not like a yeah. But he said as that happens, there will be effects. The jump at the right time theory. Mm. Mm. So wasn't there a deep fish ore off of California? Yes, there was. There was. There was I remember. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Oh. I also, you're answering her like, yes, yes, there was. Good job. You remembered. <laughs> There's this guy on TikTok that I literally just found like 20 minutes before we started. He has, he left his family in Atlanta and went out to California because he said that God told him to go tell the people of California to evacuate <gasps> because, and he's saying the San Andreas fault is about to move and California will be kaput. But he's just out on the streets, like wearing the shirt says "Evacuate California." Dude, if that happens, that'll be so scary. I'm wow. not saying he's a prophet, but <laughs> it looks like there's some there's some movement happening. Man, I, I was, I was reading in prophet. Matthew, and it talks about. Oh gosh, I'm gonna mess it up. So what I took from it is don't ignore a prophet. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> you know what they say: don't ignore a prophet. <laughs> And the Lord said, don't ignore the prophet. Shut up. I remember in fifth grade you when test, I- You test prophecies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Relax. <laughs> but just don't doubt them. <laughs> Believe everything they say. Shut up. I just shouldn't have said it. I forget what it said. <laughs> That's so funny. It seems like something that happened like after Jonah left town. They're like, you know what they say? Always listen to a prophet. <laughs> there was, I was, remember learning in uh, like fifth grade that California was like moving closer, like the ocean, like it's always moving a little bit, but it was like an inch a year or something like that or less, less than, than an inch. That, yeah. And I, but I, in my mind, I was like, dude, when I'm like 30, <laughs> we're gonna be like right next to Japan, bro. Like, we're gonna just be able to see him and everything. I'm like, I don't think really I realized just how much. I th- thought it was like a ton, but was no. It, wasn't it going the other way? I mean, moving away. Tomato, tomato. At that point, you're just moving toward each other, right? Losing coastline, I thought. Yeah. Who knows? But I will say the one that happened in 1700, it's recorded as history in Japan oh. of that day of tsunamis coming and hitting <sighs> Japan. So. So we wouldn't get anything like that. Would California ever get tsunamis? Yeah, yeah, they would get sure. the biggest one. Did they have like huge ones and during the San Francisco like stuff, like actual what San tsunamis? Francisco? Like when they had like they had a huge earthquake in the the twentieth century. Yeah, they'll get they'll get a tsunami. I just don't even remember like hearing any stories about they. But American tsunamis. One video I watched about that or the whole earthquake, the big one. Yeah, is that um. Basically, the West Coast is not prepared, and mm. th- uh, the majority of their infrastructure, like in San Francisco, Portland, uh, Vancouver, all those places, they have not built their stuff to withstand earthquakes, mm-hmm. big earthquakes, except Portland. They actually took a proactive measure and built a bridge in 2014 that is the only bridge in Portland to where you can exit that is earthquake-proof. Nice. So they're getting they're getting a little prepared. What if the earth splits open right where that bridge is? Then that is unfortunate. And uh, what a waste of karma money. for Portland. I was, Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> I was reading about like I was trying to figure out building codes and like what they build to for you know earthquake preparedness. Yeah. But since there isn't like a definitive scale, you're just like it's like a hurricane roof here. It's like you try to withstand some sort of win. Yeah. But I was reading like seven a lot of building codes in Japan. They build to like a seven and wow and hope. Oh, so yeah. if, if like a nine and a half, nothing would really be built for it. Well, we talked about Japan's also saying that they're about to have a massive yeah. earthquake. They had Make a fish. earthquake. And, bef- they had fish and before I get roasted in the comments, I spent 10 seconds researching it. Mm. Mm. I think, uh, you know how like Jello holds things together? Dude, we should build with Jello. <laughs> if we get a bunch of helicopters, you know Here how they drop go. like over wildfires? Oh. If we drop Jello powder into the ocean that's already rocking, you don't even have to stir it. Dude. It becomes Jello landing on Portland, landing on California, holding everything in place. So it actually works. That's not a bad idea. 
I would, uh, let me talk to uh, <laughs> what's the governor's name? I feel like you weren't ready Newsom? for us to agree <laughs> with you. Like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I, uh, well, yeah, First yeah. step. Oh, Jello packets. No, that would that would work. I think so. Theoretically, yeah. that's like the kelp beds absorb surf. If there's like enough seaweed in the water, they absorb the energy. I've cured hurricanes and uh, tsunamis. Hurricanes. Hurricanes. <laughs> hurricanes. <laughs> Hurricane. <laughs> Oh, all right. You ready for the next uh, world ending thing? Please. All the West Coast people are like, man, I want to turn this podcast. Just get out of my head. Just have fun for a little bit. And then they start the podcast. Death, just, death, death. You're going to die. Die, die. <laughs> Josh, Josh is just trying to evacuate. I mean, we're all going to die. You're just trying to boost your just property value. The West Coast <laughs> is going to die soon. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, uh, Oh, man. We have to pull this episode if something happens this week. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> this has to happen. Yeah. The, uh, this, there's this asteroid coming. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I, lead, I saw this video. I'm like, it looked like one of those like History Channel things where they're like talking. And you're like, all right, yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah. Um, and then I looked it up about an hour before we got on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And... There was about 10 articles that came out about three hours ago talking about those asteroids. I'm like, oh, <laughs> let's uh, pay attention a little bit. It's called the, uh, don't know how to say this. I, it's like when I when the camera's on. I mean, you know they're watching you. It's like I get nervous. <laughs> you get, guys, I get nervous in front of you. Apophis. Okay. Apophis. That's not right. Mm, A-P-O-P-H-I-S. Apophis. I'm going with Apophis. Apophis. It's an Egyptian and it's the Egyptian word, or it's an Egyptian god, and it's the god of chaos. That's what they named this asteroid. Got it. I thought you were talking about, like, I don't know why my mind thought, like, the Egyptians made an asteroid. <laughs> 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 but I was like, immediately, my brain's like, did. no, no. No, they didn't. Okay. Yeah. Um, but this Apophis. asteroid, it's, what is it? Apophis. Apophis. I was close. No, I said Apophis. You get a C. A Pope's fist. <laughs> A popefis. A popefis. A popefis. No, try it again. That wasn't right. <laughs> We're going to start floating again. A popefis. A popefis. A popefis. the P out an F. A popefis? Yeah. What if you said a popefis three times like Beetle just <laughs> showed up right here? Here it is. A popefis. The apophis asteroid. Okay. Nailed it. This study came out. And so this asteroid has been circling Earth for quite some time. Yeah. Just having fun. Probably forever. Who knows, you know? Um, but this time, scientists at NASA were alarmed of how close it is actually getting to Earth. And so there's a scale that they use for if an asteroid is going to hit Earth. It's zero being no way, Jose, mm-hmm. and 10 for sure smacking the heck out of Earth. Yeah. And this asteroid is at a four. And it's still pretty far off right now. And it's supposed to pass Earth on this day of 2029. I think it was April of two, yeah, April. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson talked about this one too. Did he? I think because I remember the year 2029. I was going to interrupt you earlier, but I just because he talked about something that like it'll be a like he even talked about it being world ending, like to the point where like it, it yeah. actually could happen. It's very yeah. realistic. Yeah. So there's an article right here calling it the planet killer asteroid the size of a cruise ship. The planet killer. That's what yeah. I remember. Yeah. Cruise ship. Yeah. So it's passing Earth. April, I think it's I think it's April 2029. But they're saying, yes, the size of a cruise ship. And that this video said it'll be traveling at 20 kilometers a second, which is 12 miles per second or 44,000 miles per hour. So imagine a cruise ship coming down to Earth at going 44,000 miles an hour. We're gone. Yes. That's crazy. That's 18 times faster than a bullet. Good thing the world's ending in 2027. Hey. But this is the crazy part. I'm just like, well, how far? Because the thing said it's coming uh, within 22,000 miles of Earth. I'm like, oh, that seems really far. Yeah. Guess how far the moon is? Oh, I know this. No, I don't. Okay. 239,000 miles. Oh, that's too close. And if it knocks the moon out, then oh, that's too close. Then we die. Oh, for sure, also, cute. Yeah, we need the moon. They have this projection of. Is this not a clickable link? Come on, oh, it is. Look at this. What if it knocks the sun out? We'd be fine. No, we have Killian Murphy. 
Hold yeah, on. I was going to say, like, we need Bruce Willis, dude. Guys, um, I don't know. I'll show you this first. Look how close he gets. <laughs> that's not fun. I would say that's closer than a four on the scale. I uh, Yeah. This is all projections, though. Can you see? Wolf. It swings by it's boomerang and around her house. Um, oh, no! We, Bruce Willis has already done this. Yeah. You can do it again. By the way, I've never seen that movie. Oh, <gasps> Andy! What movie? The Office ruined it for me. What did they, they say? They, in spoil, it? they spoil. Uh, oh. They're like, uh, do what? Because they let uh, Jim makes fun of Dwight for crying at the end of Armageddon. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> they left Bruce Willis on the planet. <laughs> do you guys want to see the video that I saw about this asteroid? Yeah. Okay. For sure. It gives more. You um, sending it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. yeah, just give me it. Give me a second. All right, all right, all right. It's a right. dying Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You know those will be his final words, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. All right, all right, tell me when you got it, and I'll hit play. Where are you? There it is. Got it, yeah. everyone? Yeah. Lil? Yeah. All right, ready, set, go. November 4th, 2029. Oh, Can you gosh. pump it up a little bit, Andrew? countdown. To catastrophe. A giant asteroid hurtles towards Earth. It's Mike it's heading straight for the eastern seaboard of the United States. The space rock could wipe out an entire city and cause widespread devastation. Eastern Can seaboard. Earth survive. New York City, November 4th, 2029. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> the deserted metropolis Wait for it. waited for the asteroid to strike. As it comes through the atmosphere, we would see something as bright as the sun getting brighter and brighter and brighter. At speeds of maybe Bro. 20 kilometers per second or so, that's something like 18 times faster than the speed of a bullet coming out of a rifle. This asteroid Bro. is headed towards the most populous city in America. And when it impacts, it would deliver more energy than a thousand Hiroshima nuclear bombs. Oh, oh my, my goodness, bro. It would level some of the most expensive real estate in the world in seconds. Oh, not the real estate. Not the real estate. No. <laughs> Where were the billionaires able to watch us? Where Central Park used to be. I actually don't even like thinking about this. <laughs> Every Ninja's a Butterflies <laughs> listener ever. <laughs> There's nothing in our history that would have done this much damage so quickly and so devastating. Dude, that is so yeah. <laughs> with the TikTok watermark <laughs> thing. Bloom, subscribe, like. I love that. We should clip that for ninjas. I actually don't like thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you anyway. <laughs> could you please stop it? I really appreciate the work and effort that you put into this podcast, but could you not? Um. So yeah, 2029. Would the whole world end or just the United States? I can't States? imagine... Well, I mean, I know that. I don't, th I don't think it would gotta earn. Be tough. I don't think it earn. I don't think it would earn. <laughs> uh, I don't think it would end. I think a lot of people would perish. Dude, I tell you, I'd rather get s smacked by the rock. I think. I know the tsunami thing. No, I would happily take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. The, oh, okay, that's what you're saying. Okay, yeah. yeah, for sure. I would much rather go out that way. Have like, just right under it. Have mm -hmm. you ever seen the movie Impact? With Jodie Foster and Elijah Wood. Oh, Impact, no. Oh, my gosh. So. I made you watch with me. It's really good. But, uh, You're yeah. talking about Deep Impact? Yeah. With Morgan Freeman being the president? No. Nope. What? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Deep Impact. With Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood in it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Either way. Yeah, no tsunamis for me, please. Yeah, Dude, that's got to be a scare me. hard way to go. What's that Nicole Kidman movie? Uh, the Impossible? Oh, yeah. With this younger, what's his face? Yeah, uh, uh, Spider Man. Ian, Ian, no, him, Ewan McGregor, and then the son is uh, Spider Man. He's what's Spider Man's name now? Oh, um, what's his face? Toby, Tom, Tom, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's when he was a kid. I didn't know that was. We him. were gonna go yeah. through all the Spider Man's. <laughs> Did you know that earthquake that caused those tsunamis killed over two hundred thousand people in Asia? That's insane. That's I think it was like two hundred thirty nine thousand people died. We're only worried about Nicole Kidman too. <laughs> I know. He's saying <laughs> I know. In the real estate. They call give him to the real estate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Deep Impact. It was um, a stacked cast for a terrible movie. It was a crazy movie. That was not a terrible movie. <laughs> it was movie. a terrible movie. It, was, it, was, Andy, it came out in the 90s. Watch your mouth. It? 
It that is a really so good movie. <laughs> yeah, you watch your mouth. No way. Give me a battle. It was a good movie. Not a chance. Um, dude. I don't want to leave this meteor conversation yet. Have you heard of the uh, ejecta blanket hypothesis about the lakes being from projectile from an asteroid impact? Yeah. What it, does that mean? So, like, this is where we are, Winter Haven, Florida. Like, you see all the oh. all the lakes <laughs> that are, like, right next to each other? Yeah. So, the theory is, like, they teach that they're spring-fed, which is true, but if you follow the projectile, like, there's a bunch in North Carolina, some in, like, the Midwest – but they're like lined up in trajectory to like a like Great like a Lakes d- impact. So if the Great Lakes were covered by ice and then an asteroid hit and it sent projectiles from the impact, it would have like landed in particles, which caused all these like little lakes and indentations. And what is convincing about it is when you look at, um, this is LIDAR of Carolina Bays in North Carolina. You see it? Oh, like giant rivers that's the bay but look at all the impacts in the bay oh whoa wait let me see i don't really get it basically it's just it's from an old meteor are the great lakes yeah what or i thought those were carved by um saying ice over ice bugs they're all (laughs) man-made my dad yeah my dad built a great lake That's a kind of wild concept to think about, like all the lakes, especially in Florida. Yep. Wow. Or like maybe from like old it is crazy. asteroids or debris from a big asteroid. Because if there's like an underground aquifer, like being spring fed, yeah. and then something like broke through the, the holes surface, that'd be like why there's all these uh, underground water ducts connecting all the pieces. We're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, why that's sketchy though is like if New York gets hit and like projectile from the great lakes covered yeah. the nation dude listen hit me with a big rock if you're gonna kill me don't kill me with projectile. hit me with your big rock i don't want to be hit with like an afterthought iceberg like a little like a park bench from grand central station just, <laughs> it's not just even like, a big one he just gets, be like, terrible impaled by a stake <laughs> let me go out the way i should go Icicle. what if the meteor that killed the dinosaurs landed in america Mm. Don't they think it did? Uh, there's. I mean, you should watch Graham Hancock stuff. There's like, there's giant craters like all over, like in the ocean, like giant ones that would have been like world ending. It probably was stuff. in America. You know why? Because America has a tradition of having people already living there, like the dinosaurs, and then destroying them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Typical Tepical. American asteroid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, this part though, I forgot to say that. Um, <laughs> we got that. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> You're already laughing. <laughs> I was like, oh, I couldn't fake it. I was like, what? Oh. So obvious. Guys, Josh told me that at the Patreon episode, I could eat his sandwich. That's why I'm trying to hurry and eat. I move to the Patreon episode. Grab it episode. for it real quick. What is it? It's in the top sandwich. Oh, no. Andy! I'm so sorry. Hopefully it's still wrapped. I tried to throw it. I promise you it was going right towards Terribly. you. Terribly. sorry. You shouldn't trust me anymore. We should not trust you, but you know who we should trust? Who? Sunday Cool. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure they're a great company. I'm sure they're great. No. They're not great. They're the best. Yeah, I mean, I'm, they make... I, I heard they make shirts. So is that not only do they make shirts. Okay. They do hats. They do stickers. Anything that you want printed, they can do it. I mean, let me. Just, I, I, I. It sounds great. I just. It's I not just only I just, great. It's I not only great. I, know, Andy. I just don't have the time. I don't. But I don't they have saved the, my life. What? How did Sunday Cool save your Ten life? Ten years ago, I was dying. How? I had a rare disease. It was called toenitis quadriplegis. Oh my gosh, I've heard of that. Incurable. Might. Yeah. Until they found the cure. Sunny Cool found the cure and saved your life. It was super soft tees. All they had to do was wear super soft tees. Fully customizable. Okay, you convinced me. Where do I have to go? What do I have to do? Tell I'll, me. I'll tell you right now, Andy. If you want to live, yeah. SundayCool.com. I want to live. I want, I, I, want, I want to live. I want you to live too. I want to live comfortably. I want you to live. I want you to live. 
I want all of you to live. Thank you, Josh. Yep. Thank you. No, the story was all made up. What? Yep. But go to sunnycool.com. Not all of it. Some of it was. What was the toe thing? No, that was real. Okay. Yeah. Nicole Kidman show. Dom. Netflix? Yeah. It looks terrible. Dumb. I started watching no, I Bad know. Monkey on Apple TV with I, Vince Vaughn. Yeah. So good. I'm reading Ouch. the book right now. So good. It's awesome. It's based in the Keys in Miami. It's such a cool vibe. And it's the same guy that made Tate Lasso, Scrubs. What you, 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 you eating over there? Oh, right now I'm eating a first form protein stick that's jalapeno heat flavor. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know you could handle the heat. What do you this, got, Josh? Is this a uh, first form protein stick uh, <laughs> sharp cheddar flavor? With no MSG, no nitrates, and 160 calories? <laughs> <laughs> I got hey. the helping you eat, too. Yo, first form has sent us so much. A plethora. <laughs> we got meat sticks for days. We got meat sticks for days. Bring them home because I like to eat them. I love watching the. No, they're for the office. What was the breakfast one? That was my. Absolute favorite. I ate that box in like three days. So yeah. good. So good. Mm. Now that my mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> question corner, question, question corner, corner, question corner, 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 but it has to be completed by the end of the year. So I'm talking right now, September 10th. Yeah. December 31st. Like never, fiction? Never forget. Is that where we're going? Novel? It literally can be whatever you want okay. it to be. What would you write about? <clears throat> mm. I would do the, can, I would do the, as in the days of Noah, and try to find everything that is correlated from now to before the flood happened. Mm. And now it's exactly like, it's like a mirrored image. It's a lot of work. But it's all just your note style. Yeah. So, they, like, <laughs> so it's like, like mispronunciations and there's like, it's just scattered information. Yeah. <laughs> you have printed out links. That's in what the, I, in the book. You're <laughs> like, oh, I forgot they couldn't click those. Yeah. So that's what I would do. Cool. I would do a horror, a horror novel. Oh, well, give us like the setting. Oh, man. Who's the Actually, no, I would do a full, I would do, I would do the uh, idea that I had about the meth sharks, meth nice. gators, mm. the meth gators, and, yeah. the, and then the cocaine sharks, mm -hmm. just a continuation, just yeah. a long horror story of how a drug deal goes bad, a bunch of duffel bags land in the, uh, the uh, like a lake in Florida, Everglades, mm. Everglades. <laughs> and then they just take over Miami and then they become the police officers and everything's <gasps> ran in Miami-Dade County. By gators. It's like Planet of the Apes, almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I feel like that's... What, what What about you? Yeah, I couldn't really... I. It would probably... You know, I think I got a romance novel in me. <laughs> and I think, <laughs> I think it'll be based in St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. What and time it, period? I'm, a Native American falls in love with an... Uh, an English man, just like Poca like Florida's Pocahontas. It was my first they day was, working at the popsicle shop. They were st they were Spanish conquistadors. <laughs> and the flavor of the week was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad's name. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it just came to me. Um, it may be between a ghost and a human girl. Oh, like Casper. Mm -hmm. A ghost of like one of the like the gamblers that got caught in the fire. Oh, that actually would be a really cool story. He's a gambler, and it's like a gamble on love. <gasps> That's the name of your title. <laughs> or instead of Casper, it's just Hippo. <laughs> yeah, mm, mm, that's dumb. No. no, yeah, it's a ghost, and you don't know if you just assume he's a human, but then it turns out it's actually a hippo. Oh. And you're like, now you have this dilemma. After she realizes, I could choose to live my rest of my life with my love, the love of my life, but he's a hippo. And all you and say he's a is ghost. I see water animals. It's like dead people. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I get it. Yeah. They're not connected. And they <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Okay, Andrew, go ahead. It's something to do with ministry. Did 16 years working for the church, so something along those lines. Couldn't think of anything funny. A tell-all. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Stories from behind the church background. I shouldn't be talking. I have food in my mouth. It's fine. It's okay. It's first one's fault, not ours. Mm. You could do a tell all about the church and their so, mistreatment of worship pastors. And all pastors. Yeah. And pastors mistreating other people. Not all. Actually, Christians. this one guy. I'm all just kidding. Of them. I'm just kidding. No, there's. Yeah, the church does a lot wrong, and the church does a lot right. So just establishing what church is, I think. There's a ton of books that are, have already done it, but. Mm. Hey, we're all human, baby. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? Mm. Nope, Again, you're it's over. You already did. Again, I was reading in Matthew last night, and I was I read that part where it talks about blaspheming against the Holy Spirit is unforgivable. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what does God questions have to say about this? Because I feel like it's been like a big mystery. And God questions said that it really only applied to the Pharisees he was directly addressing in that moment because they said in the history of man, they have never been presented with like actual divinity in the way that Jesus was before them telling them. And they denied the Holy Spirit's power in mm. that moment. They saw it, they experienced it, and still they chose no. Yeah. I, s- I still feel like it can still be applicable to I think, other it's, I think yeah. it's extremely rare. I think you would have to, like, it would just, it's something. It's a rejection you of would Christ. Ha- you would have to experience yeah. him yeah. and to honestly say no. And that's. Well, I mean, if you so, think about it, the re- what is the rejection of Christ? You can't yeah. get to heaven without Christ, right? Yeah. What is the, un- like, the yeah. unforgivable sin is not accepting Christ. Mm. Not a cadaver. Something that separates you and mm. Harry Potter. Mm. Don't read Harry Potter. Don't ever. But especially don't read Enoch. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey Andrew, you got you got a Yeah! Yeah! Andrew got a real let it, it go to show us right, right now. now. Right, right now, now, right now, right, right now. now. Hey, these are for you, Josh. That was my reggae version. I dig it, dude. It sounded a little Indian at first, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounded a little bit counselable, counselable at the beginning. <laughs> okay, this is fun. I'm already looking at it. Close your eyes, Josh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. here we go, baby. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, oh, there's no audio? There's two owls. There's one. Oh, wait. Oh. No, what? Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. How to remove an intermedullary nail in the interesting orthopedics operation room. That looks horrifying. Oh, my I, gosh. I couldn't bear to leave the sound on that. Oh, I could imagine it. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Why, Boom. Did, you, why did you do the, the, <laughs> the owl thing? That's just great. Um, I just thought that was crazy. That's that a good the, algorithm. The, <laughs> yeah, that's where my feet is right now. Oh, gosh, I hate owls, dude. I hate them. Hey, congratulations, yeah, Nap listeners. A, you got a twofer. That was a, a hawk flew into a, an owl's den. And someone had a camera set up. But I think it's just crazy that they hold the hawk and they're just staring at it's it. It's just intimidating. It, dude. Yeah, that thing looks like, so sc- If it could lean back any further, it would have just been out of it. <laughs> I'll talk about that. Uh, I, dude, imagine you wake up in a big owl. As you pin down by the ankles, and you're just staring, and it's all it is doing is just staring at you. That's his sleep that, paralysis that, demon, dude. That would honestly be the most terrifying thing. Imagine that, like in a visual in a movie. Mm. <laughs> that would be scary. It's their scary. eyes, it's their eyes, man. Yeah, and just the fact that they can look at you no matter where you run, and they don't even have to move their bodies; just their head. It is fascinated by owls. Yeah. Good. I got woke it's up a healthy by fear. one. It is a healthy fear. I think yeah, she like um she does like exposure therapy on herself though because she'll see the owl and then like I need to see it again. It's just like that's scary. <laughs> yeah, that's what she did with the uh, Orlando Bushman. Dude, I saw so that. funny. Yeah, because Kelsey was downtown uh too, and I was watching it. I was like, no way, and I'm like, I saw where she was. I'm like, she's not gonna walk past it. So when you sent me that, that was the funniest thing. So you saw it when it happened? Not when it happened. Oh. I was just on it though. That was the thing when you sent it to me. I was like, no way, dude. Like, because I thought I was like, oh, maybe you saw Kelsey or something. Yeah, but <laughs> you set her up. Yeah, Lily and Ada were across the street, and I told Lily, I'm like, hey, the Bushman is in Orlando. You should in bring Ada across. Yeah, and uh, it scared Ada. <laughs> But then she wanted to kept going back and like, like are you? Yeah, real? she's fascinated. Yeah. Dude, yeah. if she would have just like turned and gone savage on him, <laughs> where'd you get that knife? knife. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty cool though. He like took off his hat so she could see that he was a person. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He did ask me, "You're not real." <laughs> this is what his message back to me was because I tagged him. Oh, uh-huh. he said, "Where? Oh, 
Okay, where's the bush man? There he is. Where's the bush man at? He said, I love it. Please let everyone know how good we are with the babies. We get a bad image because other Bushmen scare babies. <laughs> <laughs> the Bush people. There's some beef in the Bush people business. Listen, I was I was trying to be um make a pun with what I said because I said teaching Ada to fear the bushes. Mm -hmm. What was the pun? Like George Bush? Yeah. Got it. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Not only did Bush do 9-11, he also did this to my daughter. <laughs> We're joking about that, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> this is just going to further us getting Let's go. buried on YouTube. Okay. Which, by the way, we're still getting flags and stuff like that. So, But our luck has turned <laughs> because we have so many views on the last podcast. Yeah, we do. That was crazy. Yeah. And for everyone who's like leaving reviews, genuinely, thank you. It blows our minds that we're rated where we are. That's the That's only thing I can guys. I yeah. imagine that like we've had such a good pop. Just because people have been sharing it a ton. Yeah, and so. comments, dude, even if they're bad, they still help. <laughs> even if they hurt my feelings. Even if they're a little mean. Even keep if me I can sleep at night. Ouch. <laughs> man, what's happening? Ow, oh, that hurts my feelings. You really hit a hurt, hurt part of me that hurt. Um, so speaking of things that hurt our hearts. Yeah, yeah. Talk about it. Andy, you're the one that got me onto this. You're welcome. The Mohenjo. Mohenjo Dark. <laughs> <laughs> the the Mohenjo Daro. There we go, baby. The Mohenjo Daro. Not the easiest thing to say. To no. Be fair. <laughs> and it is where? It's in uh, nowadays Pakistan. Pa Pakistan. Yeah. Mm. But it was this ancient city that was discovered in the 1900s, right? 1920 around there. Yeah. And it's called the Mohen. Mo oh my gosh! Hey. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't do this Don't. to him. He just he ha he hasn't done this in two weeks. Would you just lay off of him? Mohenjaro. Mohenjo Daro. Yeah. Mohenjo Daro. It means the mound of the dead, Lil. Oh no. The mound of the dead. I don't want to do the same. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do this podcast anymore. This is gonna, if we clip this up, it's gonna be so weird. It's gonna be a dramatic intro and then No, but it means the mound of the dead. Okay. There, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um but they're speculating that the city was a city that was 5,000 years old. That's their guess. But the way that the city is laid out, it was so technologically advanced for its time, and yet it's written nowhere, anywhere. Like, this city it was huge. They had so many technologically advanced things. Like, they had sewers underground. Plumbing. Plumbing. A whole underground system. Mm -hmm. Like completely, they like they they had things where they assumed they were taking baths at like weekly, if not every day. Wow, they were a very strong, very healthy society. Even it was on laid out on a grid system. Yeah, like a modern day city it was that big. It was incredible. Like just the whole streets and everything. Wow. Yeah, but then they speculate there's a conspiracy. No one really knows what happened to it, but they found a bunch of skeletons that look like they just died instantly. Oh, gosh. And not only that, when they tested the soil around this city that they dug up, high levels of radiation. Oh, gosh. The sand had turned to glass. Everything that would indicate that there was a nuclear bomb at one point. Or just a really big fire. Hey, no, it's no, they it, talk about it, it being sudden. Oh, yeah. Because okay. like the, the way everyone is, every the way everything's laid out. Vitrified it, glass is what it's called. Vitrified. So that means... It's like lightning glass, right? Yeah, so that would have to be like the atomic bomb when they test that in the desert, all the sand around it had turned into glass. Wow. But they're saying even the rocks were glass. So it was this intense Sudden amount of heat, heat, like a boom. Wow. Yeah. Um, and That's where they did, kept describing like an intense but sudden heat. Mm. Like it's like, like what does that mean? How does like, because they say volcanoes, but it's like, that's not how that works. Yeah. Because yeah. then it was not consistent. Sand the sand would have turned into a different material, right? Yeah, like this, it would have been look completely different because we can we've studied and we've been able to look at other volcano eruptions that like have what that's consistent like yeah. in Pompeii and stuff, but it's like this is completely different. It's completely stands on its own. Yeah. Wow. And uh, what's fascinating too to me was we talked about it quite a bit ago of those that ancient story of those two cities in India that were fighting. And they had like the flying ships and they had these weapons that sounded a lot like nuclear bombs and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the name of that weapon is called, bear with me, Bra 
Hold on. Brahmastra. Brahmastra bomb. Brahmastra bomb. How do you say that? Brahmastra? Brahmastra. Brahmastra. All right. Yeah. Um, Brahmastra. Brahmastra. But what that is, it's an astra or supernatural weapon that is one of the most destructive, powerful, and irresistible weapons mentioned in Hinduism. So like Hinduism mm. literature, they talk about this weapon that the description of it is every bit of a nuclear bomb. Wow. Um, and I just thought that was crazy interesting because it's very close to India or that region. And uh, oh, what was the connection I was going to make? Oh, yeah. They described the weapon further. It's the only weapon that could destroy an entire city, city instantly. Future generations would have diseases, i.e. radiation. Mm. So they're saying, like, they went on to describe what this bomb would do. Destroy city instantly. Ruin the crops for generations to come. Make the generations of people that live there sick. Like, so it was just like. So that did happen. No, it's, I mean, it's from oh. the Hinduism literature and oh, stuff. Oh, I see, I see. So, mm -hmm. but people speculate, like, well, why, how could they come up with a something like that in such an ancient of yeah. days, you know? Um, yeah, unless they experienced it, unless they saw it, or it was told about. Yeah, and I was listening to this one podcast where they were talking about this, actually. I, we should put it in the link or the clip. Um, but one guy said something very interesting. Remember when Oppenheimer said... Now I become death destroyer of worlds. Mm -hmm. That's from the Hindu scripture. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember no that from the book. Yeah, from the, the movie, same I mean. book where they talk about that weapon. Wow. Weird. And so it makes you wonder. Yeah. Dude. I'm wondering. What I thought was interesting, we're just going to take a little journey. If we're talking about like the days of Noah, yeah, right? Yeah. Your book. My book coming out in 2029. 2030. You guys finish it this year, Yeah, that's, 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 that's the whole point. January 1st. I was just going to finish it when the world ends. <laughs> yeah. Um, But so they theorized that this city existed around 2500 BC. And if you do the math of when they think that the flood happened, mm -hmm. that was around 2300, 2400 BC. And so it makes you wonder if that this ancient technology uh, that was presented by the fallen angels and whatnot could it have been a nuclear weapon? And if we're living in the days of like Noah now, now we have that capability again. And it just also made me think of all those stories about the, um, the nuclear sites where they saw like the UFOs and stuff and all the nukes get disabled and stuff. Yeah. Like what there has to be a connection somewhere. Am I am I just like off on a spaghetti trail right now? No, that's cool. It's interesting. No, I'm just I'm so ignorant and dumb when it comes to the actual science of an atom bomb. But like when you're talking about splitting an atom, like you're talking about manipulating something that's of our nature, of yeah. our world that was designed. And so I mean, to have it exist back in that time, like who knows how those instruments were used to create certain type of weapons where we always think it's like very sci-fi it's very techy it's like it could look completely different we have no yeah. idea especially with different knowledge back then and it's just it doesn't make sense and the fact that we don't have answers for why these places just went missing and yeah. why they were covered up and yeah we people just don't care or at least the right people don't care yeah it's just it, it's so scary because something like that back in the day would be devastating it's yeah. what i'm interested in what would be cool to find out is if maybe they were like working on the technology and there was an accident and it like exploded there or if there was like a war. Well, and I mean, another civilization had it. Well, that's what we talked about. And that those two Indian cities, they were literally at war with each other using oh, yeah, that true. weapon. True. And that was before the flood as well. Cause then they said after that happened, there's a giant flood that wiped them all out. But you're implying with your illustration that maybe the, um, the Nephilim taught, these groups or the fallen angels it. yeah yeah like it's a, like it's like a heavenly knowledge like yeah, technology it's of same, how to manipulate it's the molecules. same that they could be happening right now like with just with certain leaders in the world who are into that stuff or are dabbling in that things those dark dark things and uh but with crazy about mahendra daro they had literally like two thousand seals of like paper that not, not, of, like, uh, no like, that, would be, that would be crazy <laughs> Um, uh, but they like just stuff that they have still to this day have not decoded. They had idols 
they had inscriptions and markings and, and, and uh, statues of certain idols and they knew how to steel bend. They knew how to do metal work and wow. all that stuff. And that's very, very early. So it's like they were extremely advanced, very conscious, even showing like this one guy that I listened to just pointed out just even the underground um, drainage system mm-hmm. proves that they're, they were sophisticated enough to know the dangers about like health safety, mm-hmm. like for their own community and stuff. And that's crazy to me. The, the fact that they were bathing on occasion, like, like yeah. it's just weird. Yeah. And so then you have an instant and sudden extreme heat, something. Something that just wiped, that the, wiped city the whole out. city out. Yeah. I and mean, then it was buried yeah, for no was, one to know. So from 2500 BC, give or take, that's what they theorize, to the 1900s, no one knew about yeah, this city. That's and it was crazy. a massive city. And how that's many of thing. those exist and we still have not dug them up or they have just been covered up? This is a. A side profile shot of oh my part gosh. of the city. Oh my gosh! It's yeah. ma- I can't imagine what it would look like in real life time. I know. Golly, dude! Wild stuff. Wild stuff. Crazy that was things. Wild. That was wild. I don't like it. It's weird. Speaking of weird, do you hear they're making a new Fight Club? Really? Greta Gerwig is directing a new Fight Club. Who's Greta and Gerwig? She did Barbie, Barbie. right? She's a girl oh. that did Barbie. They're doing an all female fight club. Which stop laughing. Which no, that's a, no. A crazy. <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> if they make if it's like a set satirical like take on it, and they just like kind of make fun of the whole thing, and it is, I think it'd be really funny. Their fighting is just gossiping. <laughs> it's Joshua, their, it's just, why? It's just their it's just their words that hurt the most. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ma- I don't mind the fist fighting. It's just. When she mentioned my hair in a passive aggressive way, I really that was really stuck. Shut up, <laughs> silent, everybody! A silent treatment, it's a silent film. Oh, we're joking. Hey, we're joking. We love women. I know one. We love women. <laughs> I know that's, a lot of women. That's a fun concept. I know it's gonna be great. Yeah, I know it's gonna be really good. Probably better <laughs> than the first. Yeah. <laughs> They probably will make a funny blip thing. You know how they have Brad Pitt show up throughout the movie just on little blips, like for one second, like a half a second oh, on the yeah. screen. They'll probably just have just Margot Robbie just going. Did I just pull that? Or, oh, wow. That freaked me out, Is Margot dude. Robbie acting in it? What are they, best I think, friends? I think she is. I stepped on this. That's what a lot at, of directors do. I was looking at you, and watch this. It went. <laughs> it moved <laughs> up, and it freaked me out. All right. Did you, Um, I have a. A video. I saw this girl. She, you know, have you ordered? Ah, have you ever ordered off a of Timu? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm afraid. Really I, I'm sad to say. Yes, I have. No, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think. But yeah, I just think it's like it's just not like the best quality stuff. It's fine. It's and, cheap and not ethical. And fentanyl. It's not ethical. Oh, probably because where it's sourced. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and children I imagine, are yeah. manufacturing these. Well, things. maybe not. Who knows? We don't know because the thing is, I just saw a video of a girl this morning, and she had ordered a. Uh, it was a tiny, cute <gasps> little croissant lamp. I saw it. You saw this? Yeah. Dude, you see uh, it? Nope. Dude, so she ordered. It's like this little croissant, and there's like a light inside, and you just it's cute whatever it's just a funny little quirky little thing she goes on vacation she comes back and she goes and looks in her night dresser uh, nightstand and there's a little croissant and it's covered in hundreds of ants so she's like what's going on so she takes the ants off she goes out into the living room and opens up pulls out the lamp looks inside i mean she takes out the light bulb looks inside and no joke you could just tell that it looks like a freshly freshly baked croissant yeah, there's layers and like flaky crust on the inside, and she breaks it apart, and then she even eats it at one point. But the thing is, they literally had taken a croissant, epoxied it, yeah, like put a like a lacquer epoxy on it, <laughs> and then put a bolt in it, and then sold it. That's crazy, it's just in, dude. I laughed so hard. I can't imagine like so, buying like a fruit lamp and then just it turning out to be an actual like orange peel. Apparently, like, they have like a chicken nugget keychain too, and a lot of the people <laughs> were saying, "I have been swearing this is a real chicken nugget." <laughs> dude, if honestly, if it's just some guy in a factory just di- dipping things in, <laughs> that's kind of cool. But like, why wouldn't that work if you like? I assume the ants were because it wasn't like sealed well. Yeah, just because the bottom because they cut it probably because there was so that there was that brim but here's my like i've always wondered this why can't taxidermy just be dipping <laughs> i don't yeah i mean an animal head and epoxy you want to be able to touch it wouldn't it like 
Why would? Why do you want to be able to touch Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be like rot from the inside? <laughs> like a, a taxidermy Dude, animal? Air. You don't pet don't, a taxidermy animal. No. You don't like if there's like a, like a bear or something. You don't like just like brush your hand on the fur. You don't ever touch Wilford every once in a while. What's it's, wrong it's with like you? Touching a real deer because it is one. Ew. And imagine it's. What are you talking what? about? Ew. You've never touched a, a taxidermy I hate, animal ever. I hate taxidermy. Pull it down. What are you Pull talking about? Oh dear! Ah! Oh dear! We're making it happen. Give it to Lily. I can't believe you killed that. That has animal. to sit next to you the whole the rest of the podcast. You're gonna have to answer for that. Well, how? Why? With the animal, we ate it. Did you eat its heart? Ah! Ew! It's so real. Yeah, of course he ate yeah, his heart. Yeah, it is real. Get it's... in the cage out of the way. Aww. No. Oh. Look at that. There. There it we is. go. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. <laughs> this is my nightmare. How do they keep the mouth shut? Um, Glue. They sew it shut. They threaten it. Ew. Before, you keep your mouth shut. They threaten Before it. you kill it, you're supposed to sew their mouth shut, and then so you don't hear their screams. <laughs> Joshua, stop it! <laughs> we have a vegetarian that watches this show, a vegan. Oh, well, we're praying for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Congratulations on your journey. Go buy a shirt. Prayforvegans.com. Mm. Right? Boom. I am wearing a prayer. Yeah, you, you are. are. Yeah. I was like... That's our cooking brand, guys. Isn't it nice? No. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Speaking of not nice. Yeah. You guys want to hear this story? This is a really dark one. <laughs> okay. About the first, I would say, maybe the first known serial killer. Oh, jeez. Oh, can I guess? Yeah, but I don't think oh, no, you'll get it. It's not going to be, uh, what's his face? Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. That was pretty late. Who was it? Gilles de Rey. Is that a boy or a girl? It is a man. A French nobleman. The year was. The year was. Did not He did not write it down. How could it be the earliest then? <laughs> he was the right hand man of Joan the Ark. Okay. Joan of Ark. Joan of Ark. <laughs> Joan on the Ark. He was the right hand man of Joan of. What? Joan of Ark. Joan of Ark. He was the right hand man of Joan the Ark. Jo uh, <laughs> he was the right hand man of Joan of Ark. Got it. Okay. Don't know who that is. Can you look up when you don't know Joan, who Joan of Arc, Arc is? Let's wait till after this. Let me tell the story. I'm gonna guess Joan of Arc. Mm, eh, calculating. I'm gonna say one thousand. I'm gonna say fourteen. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say twelve ninety six. Fourteen thirty two. No, no I'm t I take it back. I'm gonna guess. Stop. No, you already locked in. Thirteen hundreds. Fourteen thirty two. Dude, fourteen. 12 to 1431. I'm the winner! I'm the winner! He said 1432. Oh. <laughs> you want to apologize to me right now? <laughs> Would you like to congratulate me on being first place? Sorry, Andy. Congratulations. <laughs> I was about to say 12, but then you said 12. I was like, I'll go 14. Okay. Je what did I say? You said 14, and then you changed it to 12. Oh. Yeah. I was very off. <laughs> I price is right. I price is righted you. Wow. I'm above you. I had to type out like the how do you do it the how do you would say a name? Phonetic. Yeah, phonetic spelling. You should see how I spelled his name. <laughs> okay, how would you spell Gilles? Gilles? Gilles. Like J U E L. J what did you say? J U E L. I would have said Jewel. Like but I'm no, I was trying to think how would you jewel. how would you spell Gilles? Gilles. G. How would you spell that? X J. G U I. -L. I did S Z H. <laughs> And I got it. I remembered it. <laughs> Gilles de Rey. And Deal Mazim. Do they know not, John Travolta? Do they what not roll? Am I dyslexic? What is he? De what Rey. Is he? S Z H. He's French. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Gilles. <laughs> it's spelled like Giles de Ras. But it's Gilles de Rey. Perfect. I know. That's great. It's very SpongeBob. <laughs> it's very SpongeBob. Yeah, I'm bikini you. bottom. <laughs> Gilles de Rey. Cross the get a Krabby Patty. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, guys. It's off the rails. This is so he murdered people. <laughs> oh, no. His story no. is actually really scary. Okay. And I won't get into the stuff because it gets... Um, but he was a nobleman born of a very rich family in France. Okay. Or it wasn't France at the time. It was like... I think it was... They said from Andrew, which apparently that was a place. Andrew. Andrew. Good job. Um, But his father and mother died at a very young age, and he was brought in by his grandfather, who seemed to... Not be the coolest of dudes. Tried cool. to marry him off at the age of 10, I think. Oh, to no. To someone very rich. Didn't go through. 
ended up getting married, I believe, at 14 to a 10 year old. Ew, so, ew, ew. Yep. Hey, we've Trauma. All, we, we've yeah. all been there. No. We've all been there. <laughs> Trauma. Weird stuff. Yeah. Um, but he basically learned the art of combat. Very smart dude. Was so well in battle that he became literally Joan of Arc's right hand man. Uh, he was then later made the Marshal of France at 24 years old, which is like one of the highest ranking positions in the military that you can have at the time. And what are you 24 year olds doing? Mm. <laughs> Look what he did at 24. Yeah. Yeah. Marshal, Marshal of France. Um, anyways, <clears throat> his fam- family owned a ton of property, all these estates, very wealthy. He was very wealthy but he was obsessed with throwing parties and plays. So obsessed that he ended up going into debt doing it. And so he would actually pay people to come see his plays. So he would have, they said- He would, like, write, he would write them? He would write the plays. They said like a, a story of one of his plays, there was a hundred uh, cast members for this play and then 500 crew members. He paid them all. And he had all these design costumes and stuff made just to be used once. And then he would invite the whole village to come out. He would even pay them to come out sometimes, provide unlimited food, alcohol, whatever. And it would just be like, and he loved to do that, like just constantly. Um, But then he started running out of money and then started selling his uh, family's estates to fund his love of entertainment. And it got so bad to where his family ended up having to go to the king of France saying, he has to get your permission now to sell the estates because he's just selling all of our stuff. Yeah. So the king of France is like, hey, you're not allowed to sell stuff anymore. Like That's how high up they were like in the French political monarchy, whatever. Jeez. Nobility. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he was so mad and about like just getting cut off and like he wanted to have all these riches to keep doing what he was doing. So he befriended a bunch of dudes that were into not good things. Mm. Smart. Like witchcraft. There's these two dudes that did alchemy. Um, one that did, um, what do you call it? Talking to the dead. Necromancy. 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 Jinx. Like all these people, he said, like, how do I become more rich? And basically, they say that he's like actually the beginning of the 27 Club, even though he didn't die at 27. But the story goes that he literally, they summoned the devil to sign a contract that he would have all the riches in the world and would continue with his lifestyle, but at the cost of sacrifice. (laughs) Yeah. And so this started his journey of buddy sacrificing. Some would say well into the hundreds. They know of for a fact, 80 to 200 people that he sacrificed. At the, this is where it gets a little, uh, um, ranging from the ages of eight years old to 20 years old. Good Lord. Those are children. Mm -hmm. And how he did it is because back in the day, people would send their their children to work for these giant estates and stuff. And so they would go, and apparently he had a dungeon and would do all kinds of terrible things. And he didn't get found out for years because... He got in an argument with a like a monk or something. And so he had his boys kidnap the monk. And then the local town found out, hey, he kidnapped the monk. And so all these people came to like to hear the trial or whatever. Never kidnap a monk, dude. And then all the parents were like, wait a second, I sent my son to you X amount of year ago. And like all these people were like, Hey, where's my son? Where's my son? And then after some time, he admitted that he had all these people. Oh no. But his thing was he begged for forgiveness because he he, he uh, denounced it or he uh, admitted to it so that he wasn't going to be sent to hell. And so what's so messed up is that they gave him a very Christian burial and stuff and like even buried him in a church, I believe. And it's like, but this dude, what I mean, it's like I butchered the story completely because there's I, no, you're really dark, dark stuff in it. But like the, I mean, it's so like a monster evil. It's yeah. so, but what's so crazy to me is like you hear of like the 
conspiracy theories about like we've talked about the um the castle of witches or whatever yeah, talk about the illuminati about, yeah yeah what was that like it seems it seems like a very repet like evil doesn't change it's like it's, yeah. it's always kind of remained the same and mm. it's always asked for something specific and a lot of times it's child sacrifice you go even back to like the time of king solomon and the god molech yep. and how it was a child sacrifice god you know and like it's never changed and i know this is the darkest thing ever but i just i thought it was really <laughs> no, fascinating i mean, of I mean like, not to i mean i don't want to go down this road too much but it's like you look at the state of the world in our world and our nation and the problem that we have with taking care of young babies lives and it's like that's like yeah it feels dark it feels wrong it feels satanic it feels gross because yeah. these are human lives yeah and that dude that's so scary i can't imagine living in that community yeah like just knowing something like that exists because i was watching that documentary i think it was on netflix about it was the unsolved mysteries on jack the ripper mm. and just the fear that it would cast in people like yeah. people would dress differently like with ted bundy people like women started cutting their hair and parting their hair differently yeah because they're so scared and just in, i don't know the way it radiates so much fear is really just it's dark, man. Didn't your mom say at one point that you had a Ted Bundy haircut? Yeah, she said she calls me. She calls me Ted Bundy bait. <laughs> Good lord! Because it's the middle part, right? Yes. That's like That's all of his victims had the middle part. The Ted Bundy bait. I didn't oh, hope. Gosh. I didn't want to get too dark, and yeah, I know I'm, that was really dark. So no, that was I was reading <laughs> along. I was reading along with you. It's yeah. If you want to depress yourself, go read the full story. It, it's demented. <laughs> Consider me bothered. <laughs> yeah. So don't. This is circling back. Let's circle back. Never kidnap a monk. Okay. Order. Right, right. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Don't ever summon the devil and sign a contract with them to get more money. Don't mess with it. Guess, w- what, guess what the demon's name was. I don't want to hear it. Tell oh, me. I remember, but. All right. Pause. Because I swiped away. It was like. When- I don't even like hearing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I read I read a lot. <laughs> this needs to be a button. <laughs> Where is it? When I was uh, in college Joe Biden. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> when I was <laughs> I'm joking. We can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh when I was in college there was this guy that was the most respected, I would say arguably the most respected uh, off uh, guy in our on our campus. I don't think I've shared this before, but he just talks about how people asked him like at it like an ask me anything kind of thing on a Friday and people were just raising their hand. This dude's a genius. And uh, someone asked him like, "Hey, do you believe in, you know, like demons and all that like possession and stuff?" And apparently he like he pretty much just like it's real. Wow. You don't need to look into it. There's no reason yeah. to look into it. You have to trust that it's real. He says, I've experienced, I went through a really dark time in my life where I was diving deep and looking into the, theological um, proof on it, and it's just, it's nothing to mess with. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, what was it? The name of the demon is Baron. B-A-R-R-O-N. Sounds like a certain... A certain individual we are aware of. He's going to NYU, by the way. You see that? Oh, cool. Baron Trump is apparently good at soccer. He's also eight foot three. I don't like <laughs> so hearing, tall, dude. I don't like hearing the name. I'm scared now. Oh, that's all right. Baron. We've got Jesus. Bye bye. I will Ain't say nothing though, to be afraid of. What you said about that professor is so true, though. Like, cause it was, oh man, eight months ago or so, I was getting super heavy into research and stuff, and I just like I felt like depressed and angry for a while, and then. There was one night where I just like was just I just felt so angry and I ended up praying and this is I I not making this up. I was praying in the bathroom when I was giving the girls a bath and all the toys in Ada's room on her shelf just went <laughs> off, just shot across the room. And then I ran into Lily and I said, We need to pray right now. Yeah. Cause like so it's real people. And I'm telling you, you you don't have to research it. No, like just, you know, just you don't exist in the light. Yeah. If, if you if you do research it, outweigh it with scripture, praying, and loving on Jesus, loving on others. Yeah, there's no reason to doubt it because obviously, where there is light, there is going to be darkness. So whatever the 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 opposite of a loving, forgiving, you know, eternal God is, it's the opposite. It's super scary. Yeah. 
Just don't open that door. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. Ethel, you keep that door shut. Whole door. Whole door. <gasps> you haven't watched Game of Thrones. Neither no. have we, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a reference. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, I did not talk about the Nints, uh, Nints Knights Templar. <laughs> um, Are we done? Yeah. Yeah, because we got we to. Oh, we're done. We're not going to be doing any more podcasting for the day. Oh, man. No way. <gasps> what? Yes, we are. No way. You're not talking about <gasps> Patreon, Patreon, are you? I am. <laughs> yes. Patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies. Ninjas on butterflies. Ninjas on ninjas on ninjas on butterflies. Go to Patreon.com forward slash ninjas and butterflies to download and watch every half episode we have for the past year, maybe. We got discount codes on merch. If you need big merch for your company, for a business, somebody that you know that needs a lot of shirts, listen, we work at a place called Sunday Cool, and you could order shirts from it, and you could have our own scent mm -hmm. built into the fabric of that shirt, and we would be literally hugging you all the time. So you can go to sundaycoolswag.com and order new Ninja merch. We got a Deep State sticker. So no matter what, Kamala, Trump, no matter who wins, we know the Deep State's winning. <laughs> and you can support him, okay? <laughs> yep. Um, yes, did you say review? I kind of zoomed no, out. I didn't. Oh. Like, comment, and review the podcast. And it helps subscribe. us a lot. Please. Only nice things. Only nice things. Say, if, you, if you say a negative thing, you have to say one nice thing. Yeah. That's fair. That's the rule. That's fair. But you have to do them in separate comments. It helps the algorithm. Yes. <laughs> um, on Patreon, I will be talking briefly about the Malaysian airline. <gasps> Malaysian <Ooh>. airline. <laughs> do, 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 do. I got, I, I got a couple of stuff. I got a little couple of stuff dude. And some dudes that got stuck in a pipe. Did you hear about that? Um, the guy who almost died at the lobster roll eating contest? And the, go or the, the governor, governor did, did something that. crazy. And you're going to find out later on Patreon.com. Okay, bye. We love you. Love you. Thumbnails. Uh, yes, this is just... <laughs>